This is the payroll warnings tab of uh, Element Time. So payroll warnings time is again built to help you get more accurate payroll and stay on top of potential timesheet mistakes or uh, missed employees, etc. To open a, a day to review payroll, just drop that down. Click the day and it'll drop down. You can choose which week. It'll it'll only load up by week. It could be a lot of payroll information, so it'll load up by week. Just pick the, the starting day of the week and it'll look for the seven days after that, whether you want to include Sunday, Saturday, uh, subcontractors, etc. In this case, I'm reviewing Tuesday, August 27th. So I just click that to drop it down. And you can see here, I've got a couple of payroll warnings. We're looking for two major types of warnings on this screen here. Uh, this employee, Brent Davis, it's warning me that there's more than 12 hours in the day. So Brent has submitted more than 12 hours on his timesheet. I wanna know about that so that I can make sure that uh, my guys aren't clocking too many over hours. Now, how does it know or, or can you set this? Um, absolutely you can. In the settings screen, under here, highlight payroll review when an employee's daily hours exceed. You can see I've got my threshold to be at 12 hours. So I'm gonna get a payroll warning every time an employee goes over 12 hours in a shift. So back here, payroll warnings, drop that down. You can see here I've got Brent and Jeff, my, uh, Mike, Sam and Sam, all over 12 hours. So I'm getting flagged for that. The other warning I'm getting here is that they're not present on any timesheet for this date. So this is an anomaly we wanna correct. I've got an active employee who hasn't been put on a timesheet for this date at all. Employees either should have been clocked in, so I want to make sure I haven't missed them accidentally on a timesheet, or they were absent. And there's really only two reasons for an active employee not being on a timesheet. If they were absent, uh, the timesheet screen uh, tracks that, and we should put it, or our foreman should be marking them as absent on the timesheet, so we can just do a report and find out how many times somebody was absent a year. To see how to flag an employee as absent on the timesheets, you can look at the timesheet video, but it's very simple. If I open a timesheet here, there's the manage crew button, the three people down here. We simply click that and to add an absent employee. So once the foreman finds out that they're not showing up in the morning, I'm going to go down here to the absent button. Looks like a, a head with a minus sign beside it. I'm going to click it. I'm going to say it was Steve. And the reason was he's taking a sick day and save it. And that's all I need to do. Five seconds, I can mark somebody as absent. But when your crews do that, now you'll have good uh, HR information about how many times somebody was late, whether they were absent. Uh, so the payroll warnings is again, looking to show us who wasn't on a timesheet and making sure there's a good reason for it.